This is Electric Universe Size, and today I'm going to narrate from hollowscience.com, The Electric Universe, Synopsis, Part 11, Some Basics. Quote, The machines that are first invented to perform any particular movement are always the most complex, and succeeding artists generally discover that with fewer wheels, with fewer principles of motion than had originally been employed, the same effects may be more easily produced. The first philosophical systems, in the same manner, are always the most complex, end quote, by Adam Smith. The electric universe takes a simplifying leap by unifying the nuclear forces, magnetism, and gravity as manifestations of a near-instantaneous electrostatic force. Instead of being, quote, spooked by the concept of action at a distance, like most physicists this century, the electric universe accepts it as an observational fact. Anyone who has tried to force two like poles of magnets together has demonstrated action at a distance. The, quote, electromagnetic radiation is then simply the result of an oscillating electrostatic force. At the level of the atom, the electric universe model takes a lead from the work of Ralph Sansbury, an independent New York researcher. Foremost is the simple recognition of the basic electrical nature of matter and the primacy of the electrostatic force in matter interactions. It also rests upon the simple assumption that the proton, neutron, and electron are composed of smaller charged particles orbiting each other in a classical sense in stable, resonant orbits. That is, the energy exchanged between those subparticles in elastic deformation during each orbit sums to zero. Being charged, the subparticles interact via the electrostatic force. A simple calculation shows that the subparticles that form an electron must travel at a speed far in excess of the speed of light, some 2.5 million light years per second, or from here to the far side of the Andromeda galaxy in one second. So the electrostatic force must act at a speed which is almost infinite on our scale for the electron to be stable. It is the stable orbital resonances of these subparticles, both within and between particles that give rise to the phenomena of protons, neutrons, electrons, and atoms. Other denizens of the particle, quote, zoo, are merely transient resonant states of the same charged subparticles. The so-called, quote, creation of matter from energetic photons is an illusion in which pre-existing matter is reorganized into new resonant states that give the impression that a particle has suddenly materialized. Antimatter is a misnomer, since it too is formed from the same subparticles as, quote, normal matter, except that the total charge is mirrored. Matter cannot be created or annihilated. A conventional view of forces in physics. 1. Nuclear forces keep the nucleons, or protons and neutrons, together in the atomic nucleus. They are the dominating forces in the nucleus, but of no importance at large distances from it. 2a electric forces. A positive charge and negative charge attract each other, but similar charges repel. Electric forces keep the atoms together, or, quote, bind the electrons to the nucleus. They are of a certain importance in the nucleus. At large distances, electric forces are usually not so important because of a screening effect. For example, a positive charge attracts negative charges to its neighborhood so that they screen off the field from the positive charge. 2b, Magnetic forces are closely related to the electric forces. Because they cannot be screened very easily, they are efficient at larger distances than electric forces. Example, the Earth's magnetic field. 3. Gravitation is much weaker than electric forces and therefore of no importance in the atom. As the gravitation cannot be screened, it is the dominating force at large distances. The orbits of the planets and the motions of stars and galaxies are ruled by gravitation by Hannes Alfein. Quantum theory. For the first time, the highly successful quantum theory gains a physical explanation in terms of resonant motion of charged particles, mediated by a near instantaneous electrostatic force. A quantum electron orbit is one in which the exchange of energy between all of the subparticles in the nucleus of an atom and those in an orbiting electron sub to zero over the orbit. Exchange of energy takes the form of distortion of a particle to form an electrostatic dipole or a move to a new resonant orbit. Relativity theory. Einstein's special theory was designed to define simultaneity in a universe where the fastest force of signal was restricted to the measured speed of detection of light from a distant source. 
with an electrostatic force of near infinite speed acting between the subparticles of all matter, relativity theory reduces to classical physics. This leaves open the question of what we are measuring when we determine the speed of light. The speed of light in galactic terms is exceedingly slow, requiring about 150,000 years to cross our galaxy. However, the astronomer Halton Arp has shown that the redshifts of entire galaxies are quantized, which requires some form of near instantaneous galaxy-wide communication at the subatomic level. There are now several reported experiments that demonstrate faster-than-light effects. With the special theory gone and the universe in communication with its parts effectively in real time, there can be no time travel in space, and space and time are independent. Common sense has always suggested that this was so. Einstein's general theory was devised to explain gravity. It attempts to discard the observed action at a distance of gravity by proposing a counterintuitive warping of space in the presence of massive objects. This unnecessary complication of space is then added to the current metaphysical concepts of what constitutes the mass of an object. But space must also, quote, warp at near infinite speeds to produce the observed planetary orbits. Common sense, observation, and parsimony of hypotheses all suggest that the electrostatic model of gravity is superior. There is now experimental evidence from gravity measurements at the time of a total solar eclipse that supports the electric universe model and discounts the general relativity model. E equals mc squared. Einstein's famous mathematical expression, E equals mc squared, equating energy and mass is known by almost everyone. However, most textbooks go on to use the word, quote, matter, in place of, quote, mass. But nowhere has it been shown that mass and matter are interchangeable. In fact, we are entirely ignorant of what constitutes the mass of an object. So it is inadmissible to imply that energy and matter are interchangeable. The ultimate expression of this idea led to the nonsense of the Big Bang. It seems simpler and more sensible to suggest that both nuclear and chemical energy is released or absorbed by the rearrangement of the resonant orbits of charged particles. It is then common sense to suggest that mass is the measured response of a system of charged particles to an external electrostatic force. The more mass of an object, the more the electrostatic force contributes to the elastic deformation of its protons, neutrons, and electrons, rather than their acceleration. This is the phenomenon seen in particle accelerators and conventionally attributed to relativistic effects. But relativity reduces to classical physics in a universe where the electrostatic force has near-infinite speed. The first question to be asked is, if it is that simple, why hasn't it been thought of long ago? The answer seems to lie in the propensity for mathematical theory to supersede common sense and observation. There is also a problem of language when mathematicians attempt to provide real meaning for their symbols. For more information, please visit hollowscience.com.